Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to film a quick video today uh, for you guys from my car, the Honda Civic. I gotta come up with a cool name for this. Maybe the spaceship, I don't know. I mean, that sounds like a pretty cool name. So I wanna film some thoughts from you guys from the spaceship. And uh, basically I wanted to talk to you guys about New York. What a day New York's had. Wow, this is unbelievable. New York's got hit with a twofer today. Boom, boom. The first thing we'll go over real quick is uh, Governor Cuomo. Looks like he's on a lot under a lot of heat right now. A lot of fire and a lot of it apparently is, is, is his own doing. So as you guys know from other videos I've filmed, I have always told people whatever happens to you is usually your fault. It's based on decisions that you make that kind of put you in the decisions in the situations that you end up in. Now, Andrew, Governor Cuomo, Governor Andrew Cuomo, as a high powered politician, he should have played it safe his career. He should have been very careful not to touch women in any kind of way that could have been interpreted or misinterpreted. He should have made sure he didn't say anything that might have had sexual innuendos. When you're a man in power or even a woman in power, you really got to protect yourself and be safe because you are going to be targeted by people. That's just the reality. So you need to be extra careful in your behavior and it looks like he probably wasn't. Uh, so the crazy part is it looks like the Democrats are uh, calling for his resignation, calling for him to step down. Joe Biden today literally said Cuomo should stand down. I think he should resign. We'll see what happens. I don't know if Cuomo's gonna stand down or he's gonna you know, go through an impeachment, but you know, New York, your governor, the nursing home incident, and now this, not looking too good. That's why I always tell people, Florida's got the best governor in the country. So dear New York, my governor is better than your governor. And that's facts. So I don't wanna hear anyone ever compare Governor Cuomo to DeSantis ever again. DeSantis is the best governor. He's proven that over and over this year. Great guy. And uh, obviously if he decides to run in 2024 with Trump or without Trump, I will be supporting DeSantis 100%. Of course, my edge goes to Trump. I want him to get his two terms, but DeSantis, man, he's uh, he's doing a great job. The second thing I want to talk to you guys about was, were these uh, <laughs> New York's. The, New York has fallen. New York City has fallen. Uh, that mayor, De Blasio, who is probably the worst mayor in this country, uh, he just announced that vaccine passports or proof of vaccination is going to become mandatory for pretty much almost all indoor places in New York City. So if you want to go to a restaurant or bar or go to the gym, you're going to have to have proof of vaccination. And the reason why I find this funny is because last year, a lot of conspiracy theorists kind of predicted that vaccine passports will happen. You know, the, the only good news is it looks like it's most likely only going to happen in blue states, but that's going to cause a huge divide in this country. This is going to be leading us closer and closer to succession where we're going to end up with two Americas. We're going to have uh, red states like Florida and Texas which will be land of the free, home of the brave. And then you're gonna have blue states like New York and California, which are gonna be get in line and listen to your government daddy because you need government daddy to govern you harder. Yeah, baby, let's get governed. So it's crazy, New York. I, I can't believe what's going on there. And uh, uh, you know, I, I wrote an article a couple years ago on my website, Be Free My Sheeple. I'll put a link in the description about why I left New York and why I never wanted to go live there again. Uh, I had my own reasons for falling out of love with New York. Uh, one was the mindset. People there are very career oriented, very money hungry, and it makes sense because the cost of living there is so high. My rent when I was living in New York was more than $3,000 a month. It was almost four grand a month. And so at the time I was making a lot of money, so it really wasn't an issue for me. But looking back in hindsight, how much money I blew on rent is really just unnecessary. Uh, now I live a life of frugality where I, I, I have very cheap rent. I don't make as much money as I used to, not even close. I pretty much live off my investments and uh, you know stocks and crypto, um, but I'm much happier because I'm free. I don't have to think about a career nine to five, overtime, taking out clients all the time. I'm free. So I have my own reasons for not liking New York anymore, but this, this, is, this is the final nail in the coffin. Uh, unless you're willing to get vaccinated, you know, if you are, good for you. But as Tim Pool always says, talk to your doctor if you want to get vaccinated. Consult your doctor. I'm just a blogger, so nobody should listen to me anyway. I only have random thoughts and ideas. 
uh, but, but New York, poor New York. You know, your governor's about to go down and your city has, the, the city has fallen. Vaccine passports, we, we called the last year the conspiracy theorists. So another point on the board for us. And as I said in my Twitter recently, you're gonna love what's gonna happen next. If they uh, but I guess it's possible if you assume that almost all Democrats and liberals take the vaccine, and if you assume half of Republicans take the vaccine, and if you assume some of the independents take the vaccine, maybe you get 70%. I don't know, it just it doesn't seem right to me. Something seems off. But anyway, guys, those are some thoughts about New York. New York City has fallen. Canada's fallen. France has fallen, New York is falling, but you know what hasn't fallen? Florida. Now, if you guys want to escape these cities and come to places like Florida, where we're free and vaccine passports have been made illegal already by Governor DeSantis, Lord DeSantis, let's call him that. Uh, if you come down here, don't escape your blue states. Come here and then vote blue. Don't vote for the policies that you're running from and ruin this. Because that's what's probably going to happen is you're going to have all these New Yorkers coming down here, vote blue, and then they're just going to vote blue out of habit. You got to be a critical thinker and realize why you left New York. What policies are you escaping? What policies are you going to? And if you're coming down to Florida because you like the freedom, you like no vaccine passports, you like the fact that we have no mask mandates, you like the fact that schools have been open since May of 2020 of last year. If you like all those things, you like the no state income taxes, Make sure you vote red, like keep this state red. That's gonna be really important and I can't stress that enough. So if you know anybody coming down here, make sure they vote red. I don't want anyone voting blue if they come down here. You know, my, my car's got New York plates on it, so everyone thinks I'm a liberal until I put the Trump flag out the window, then they know differently. Uh, before I go though, I did want to play with these lights for you guys, check it out. Yeah, we got the club in here, ooh la la. What I'll do is I'll put some uh, some some un some co uncopyrighted music here, so it's like we're in the club. If you guys haven't watched my latest videos, go check them out on YouTube. I did a great remix of Despacito. We did the cello version that was all performed by Reina del Sur, my videographer, super talented woman. Not only did she do the uh, recording and the and the production and the and the music, but she edited the whole video. She's an extremely talented woman. And I'm very thankful that I got to meet her uh, and spend some time with her. Uh, we're gonna be apart for the next couple of weeks, I guess, because she's down south and I'm kind of more central Florida. Uh, but hopefully we'll see each other soon. In the meantime, I'm supposed to be reuniting with Tara from the Polish American Brotherhood if she ever returns to Florida. Uh, I think now that New York is mandating vaccines in restaurants and bars, she's probably gonna have to come down here at some point because I don't think that she's gonna be getting the jab. I think she's gonna try to keep her body as organic as I'm trying to keep mine. Uh, but anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Is America 70% vaccinated? What do you think? And do you think New Yorkers who come down to Florida, should they vote red or blue? I mean, I'm telling you, they should they should vote red. If you're escaping policies to go to policies you like more, you should probably vote for the policies you like more. And that's the problem. We gotta get these Democrats to unplug and, and, and realize and wake up from this spell that they're under. You know, it happened to me. I was a Democrat my whole life and I, snapped out of it and woke up. So I know that there's hope for other people to join the walkaway movement. I hope they do because uh, I'm not a Republican, I'm an independent, but I gotta say, I'm gonna side with Republican policies more because they've been pretty consistent for the last 20, 30 years. And uh, there are a lot of things that they believe in that I, that I believe in that to me make more sense. Uh, so anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this random rant from the spaceship. Be free, my sheeple. <laughs>